and good day today we're having a look at this it's another camera tripod and this one is by newer it's a model n 55 c and it's saying here the size is 125 by 125 by 510 millimeter so let's uh, open this thing up and hop into it break the seal A little bit more awkward than I thought it would be. Okay, that should be. Oh, it's not lifting up. Try again. Ah, there we go. First impressions, it's wrapped in a plastic bag, which is nice. Undo the end bit here. And let's have a look. Right. So I've got a grey bag. With newer written on it, shoulder strap, I'm trying to work behind the camera, the zipper was very smooth, we have instruction manual with one allen key, The silica gel and nothing else inside the box. So we'll put that aside. Oh, another silica gel. <laughs> put it aside as well. Let's see if we can open this thing. How do we get into it? Ah, that in. I'm taking my time today with this. Oh. There we go. And another little tie. Undo that. And there we go. That's the uh, tripod, I should say. Got a carry handle on it. First impressions. Looks quite nice. That aside, the instruction manual, one side is all in Chinese, the other side is in English, and there's quite a, quite a long piece of paper here, so what I might finish up doing is taking some photos of it, and you'll be able to have a better look at them. <music> Now I'm outside at the moment and I've got the newer carbon fibre tripod in my hand. This is the model number N55C. It's not a bad little setup, it's quite lightweight. Comes in just a fraction over 1.5 kilo. If you take off the ball head, it'll then come in at 1.2 kilo. Now you'll notice at the bottom here we've got this little thing that you can pull out. And that's so you can hang your sandbag or whatever you want as a bit of extra weight for the bottom of the tripod. We just rotate it out. Now you'll notice we've got this little thing that pulls out here. So that allows you to swivel it to wherever you like. It has three predefined settings and you can hit all three of them. So we'll 
set this up accordingly. Let's uh, unscrew all this so give you an idea of what it looks like fully extended. So as you can see it's uh, quite high which isn't bad. You can adjust by turning this little rotary section here and just simply turn it back again so the ring lot will hold it in any position you want. The setting on the top here you may or may not be able to see it. I'll bring it over in a second let you have a bit of a look. Now you can see there's a little mark or a little notch in here with a little high spot. That's so you can actually rotate the ball head and you can see there's a 360 degree marking in here so the idea is that you can actually put it on a particular setting, turn your camera to whichever angle you want and then bring it back into the precise setting again. The ball head itself is very smooth, it's almost like a fluid head, it's, it's really really good. You'll also notice we've got this little screw here that one just locks the rotation and loosening it allows you to go backwards and forwards. This one and the one on the side here is the angle. You can lock it in place with a small one which is not bad, I haven't had any issues with it, but to securely lock it turn the bigger knob and it is rock solid. That's not going to go anywhere so that's a very good setting in it. It's also a lot better than my other uh, tripod, my <laughs> one I use in the studio. It's also a newer and they've got rubber rings around these uh, knobs and they are terrible. They, they slip and slide everywhere so I, I don't recommend that. You'll also notice we've got little 3-8 holes or screws I should say, the threads, so you can actually put in three different mounts on it. So you can actually mount three different things at the same time on 3 8s That's pretty impressive. This is my studio setup. The rings I was referring to earlier as you can see, these things rotate, they don't do anything, so they're an absolute pain to use. So I may finish up replacing this uh, ball head with a, another model. But, uh, ah, well, the new N55C has addressed this and far superior. Now you can screw the head off. And that reveals the 3.8 thread on the top there. We'll pop that back in so it means you can put in different um, heads on the actual tripod itself. The little clip on the bottom here for your sandbag unscrews. We'll take it off. It does take quite a, quite a few turns to get it out. And that's what it looks like. So put that in my pocket. You loosen and pull out. You've got that bit there. We'll put that aside for a second. Now you'll notice as we rotate, you've got this lovely grip on it. It's a good solid one. It doesn't slide anywhere. It's a plastic coated one. You'll notice there's a padlock with an on off uh, or lock and unlock, I should say, symbol. You just simply rotate in the unlock direction and the actual leg pops off. So you've got yourself a monopod. You've now got uh, two pieces which simply screw together to make an extended monopod. So as you can see it's <laughs> quite substantial, quite tall. Now I basically bought this tripod for my Hohem uh, iSteady M6 gimbal. Let me just pop it on top here. And as you can see it's uh, quite high so I tend to drop it down one level which we'll do right now. And as you can see, by dropping it down one um, little section, it's not a bad height for the actual Hohem gimbal. And as you can see, it's following me, <laughs> which is pretty impressive. And that's the main reason I got the tripod in the first place, just for this particular gimbal. It's nice and lightweight, means I can travel around a bit with it, put it on the side of the road, Instead of having a camera person pointing at uh, me, I can point at myself using this system. 
so it's uh, pretty impressive. I'm, I'm very happy with the newer N55C carbon fibre tripod. Now hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video. If you have, thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, doesn't matter. Leave a comment, I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, with a bit of luck, might get to see you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. This thing keeps following me. <laughs> it's a lot of fun actually. Thoroughly enjoying this. All the very best. Till next time. Bye for now.